I'm Sarah from So Craftastic. I really like this spinny chair now. It's kind of distracting though. <laughs> oh, I thought I could fit. Welcome to episode 4 of the Tulip Tie-Dye Summer Series here on my channel. Week 1, I showed you how to make a no-sew t-shirt tote bag. Week 2, we tie-dyed with ice. Last week, I showed you the glue resist method. And today, we're doing galaxy tie-dye! If you missed any of those tutorials, I'll put the links in the description box below and you can watch them after you watch this video. Before we get into the tutorial, please remember to click the subscribe button down in the corner there so you can become a SoCraftastic family member and never miss a new video from me. And also please click the thumbs up button. Now, let's go learn how to make galaxy tie-dye stuff. We owe <laughs> my cat walked in the door. Now, let's get into the tutorial. First, I'm gonna show you how to make this pair of shorts. They're kinda galaxy-like, but the colors I chose made them more rainbowy. I started with a plain pair of shorts I already owned, which are 99% cotton, 1% spandex, as well as some regular Clorox bleach and some Tulip one-step tie-dyes. I took this project outside to the balcony because bleach fumes are not the most pleasant. You can see I'm protecting the cement from getting messy by working on a large garbage bag. And you've probably already guessed that I filled a container with bleach here, hence the instant color change of the fabric. I'm using pure bleach by the way, don't add water to the liquid, and no need to leave this sit very long. The spots became light enough for my liking after only about 10 minutes or so. Then immediately I grabbed the shorts and rinsed them thoroughly with water. Keep rinsing and wringing out the jean shorts until you can't see much of a color runoff anymore. While they're still damp, apply any color or colors of dye to the light areas. I'm actually using the same spray dyes that I mixed last week, but this is not recommended at all because freshly mixed dye tends to adhere to the fabric better and therefore will probably end up a bit brighter in the long run and last longer too. I'm just doing this because I want the shorts to turn out pastel instead of bold. Go ahead and stuff plastic bags inside the legs of the shorts to prevent the dye from bleeding through to the back. Then flip it all over and move on to dyeing the other side. Let that sit for at least six to eight hours. I usually do tie-dye projects before bed so I can unveil them after I wake up in the morning. All I did here was cover them with another garbage bag, but for a possible better color payoff, you could seal them in an airtight Ziploc bag instead. You'll just need a really big one. The final step is to rinse all the dye off until the water runs clear. Then, if you're gonna wash them, which I do recommend, be sure to do it separately from other clothes so any little bits of leftover dye won't ruin those. Now, let's move on to the galaxy design, which I chose to use a shirt for, but if you wanna use shorts, go right ahead. This t-shirt is 100% cotton, which works best for tie-dye projects. I'm about to mix up some brand new Tulip One Step tie dyes. I like using these because they're so easy to prepare. The powder's already inside, and all you have to do is fill up each bottle to the black line with warm water. And then shake each one until all the powder is dissolved. With a fork, I'm twirling an area of the fabric on the shirt and putting a rubber band around that. Do this multiple times if you wish, then start pouring on the bleach. By the way, the fabric is dry for this, and after about 10 minutes, I removed the rubber bands and quickly rinsed out all the excess bleach. So now the fabric should be wet, and this is what the front of the shirt looks like. I began adding dye by putting a pink circle in the middle of a large bleached area. Then I dripped purple all around that and moved on to blue for the outermost ring. The reason I rinse out the bleach, by the way, is because it will continue to spread as you work on this part. So if you don't want 
any more areas to be light, then that's why you rinse out the bleach. Here I'm encouraging the colors to blend a bit more quickly by running my glove protected fingers along all three colors. They'll end up blending anyway by themselves, that's uh, what happens with the wet fabric, the dye just kind of seeps through and goes all over, but this just helps me to see where the colors are going so then I can switch to placing random drips all over the shirt like I'm doing here, and this just gives this shirt some variety so I'm not just doing circles all over. Keep squirting and blending colors until you're happy with the way it looks. Again, let the dyes sit for six to eight hours before rinsing off the excess dye. I took the galaxy look a bit further by using Tulip Color Shot fabric spray paint to achieve areas of subtle whiteness. I also wanted some bold white stars and particles, so I used brush on fabric paint for this. You can see that I flicked the paint covered bristles of a paintbrush to splatter all around the fabric. I also did a sponge painting type method with the brush to obtain less opaque clusters of white in various areas of the design. P.S. You're going to see my cat in a second. I did not allow him to be near me when I was working with bleach or the paints and dyes. He ended up sneaking out when I was cleaning up, so I'm just like, okay, you can stay out here for a minute. Finally, I want to quickly show you these acid wash type shorts I made. These are perfect for those of you who don't like to wear flashy colors or patterns. These shorts are again 99% cotton and 1% spandex just like the first pair, but for some reason I had to let the bleach sit for over 20 minutes to see a change in color. It wasn't instant like those. And I used almost two entire squeeze bottles full. It's not a huge issue or anything, I just wanted to let you all know some pairs of denim, or some denim I mean, takes longer to dye than others. If you guys end up doing this project, I want to see. Seriously, if you end up dyeing your clothes galaxy or making a galaxy canvas, anything, curtains, a tote bag, please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, Crafty Amino, or Twitter to show me a picture and also use hashtag tie-dye your summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Galaxy tie-dye tutorial. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. I just got back from filming at the park and eating sushi and then I decided to do my intro at night. So there's that. Yes, this was the final episode of the Tulip tie-dye Your Summer mini-series here on So Craftastic. But if you want me to do tie-dye projects in the future, I am open to suggestions. Just leave them below. You can also let me know what other types of crafts you want to see. And I don't know what my cat is doing. Oh my gosh, she's using the bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry for that. There you are. As I was saying, go ahead and leave me any video suggestions below any type of DIY you want to see, and even if it's not a DIY, other types of videos that you want to see on my channel. Also, I think it would be really cool to do this on a canvas as well. How beautiful would that be? And honestly, I uh, this is a big shirt for me, so I might end up cutting it or altering it in some way. But how am I even sitting? Was I sitting like this? That is really, I don't know where to put my arms, I guess. Don't forget to check out my social media pages and follow me on those if you are not already and you're interested in what goes on in my life behind the scenes. And I hope to see you back here for my next video, which will be at least next Friday. I don't know if I'll get another one up before then, but I'll see you next Friday. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye. Oh, there we go. I hope you joy, I hope you joy, <laughs> full of joy here.